Hey everyone, this is Alex, USA Days. So um, today we're continuing with JavaScript for testers and we need to understand variables. Now this is module two and from here then we will move into JavaScript data types. So in order to understand variables, uh, we will also have to talk about scope and get some general understanding of the scope, even though it is a more complex concept, right? So in JavaScript, you have three types of variables available, var, let, and const. We need to understand scope and how it works with variables. So scope is visibility and accessibility of variables, functions, and objects at various parts of your code. There's global scope, so variables can be accessed from anywhere in your JavaScript code when they're in global scope. So if you declare variables at the top of your JavaScript file, they will be in the global scope. Then there is function scope uh, and variables are created when the function starts and deleted when the function is completed. Uh, function scope is for var variables. Then there is block scope. So uh, variables declared inside curly brackets block and can be accessed from outside of the block. Block scope was introduced in ES6, so uh, an updated version of JavaScript that everyone uses now, with the addition of let and const variables. So let and const are newer variables. Var is an older one. Variable uh, is like a container that can hold data for you to access when it is needed. And we got var. So var is uh, the first variable historically available in JavaScript but now it's generally recommended to avoid. Then there is let. You should use let when you need to reassign the variable or when the variable is only needed within a block. And then there's const. So you should use const for variables that should not change their value after being assigned. So let's talk a little bit more about it on some examples. Okay, so we're back into our uh, Visual Studio code and we have the file hello world so let's uh, rename this file and before it add one uh, and now let's go ahead and create new file hit on plus let's name it two dot um, and let's give it uh, javascript underscore variables dot js okay so this is our uh, new file that we will be working in. So let me actually zoom in a little bit. All right, here we are. Now, the very first variable that was available is var. So you can say var and then variable name. So let's name it uh, this underscore is var. And let's give it some value. Um, I'm var. Okay, so this is the first available uh, variable type that is generally now recommended to avoid. Uh, we can print the value that we stored in var by going console log, console.log, and then just say this is var. So if I will run this command, node to uh, tab, and it will autocomplete for me, here's I'm var. So this is var. Uh, and var can be reassigned. So I can say this is var is equal to bananas, right? So here I declared var, uh, initialized and declare I am var, but here I am actually reassigning the value. So now instead of uh, I am var was in the container, the box, uh, the bananas are stored. So if I run it again, you can see how it was updated, okay? So the next one, and I'm gonna comment out this console uh, log output, the next one is let. So let is now a preferred variable when you use let uh, instead of var, you can also access it, but you can also update it. So anytime you're creating a variable that later on needs to be somehow updated, uh, you want to use let. So let's name it this underscore is let so and equals to i'm let so this is a 
another variable, right? And let's print it out. So console dot log. Uh, this is let. This is let. Okay. Uh, let's run the file. And you can see I'm let is being printed out. So this value that was stored within the let is uh, printed out. Okay. Uh, so let can be reassigned. So later in the code, you assign, let's say in the start, you assigned something to this let variable. And then later in the code, you need to update it and assign something new. You can do this. So I can say this uh, is let is now equal to, and let's say we will type it is updated now. Okay. So the new value will be stored in this is let variable. So let's run it uh, one more time. And you can see it is updated now. Okay, perfect. And the last one is const. So const uh, is declared an assigned value once, right? You have to provide value when you create const. So we'll say this underscore is const, right? You can have a different variable name if you want. Uh, and I'm I'm const right so let's print it out as well so console dot log this is const so save it uh, and let's run it one more time I'm const right so but let let me try and reassign it so I will say this is const and now it's equal to and I will name it can't reassign me. I will I will try to give the it value can't reassign me. Okay. So I'm trying to reassign it over here. So I'm providing a new value and I'm gonna try to print it out. Let's see what happens if I'll do that. Run it and we get an error. So you see, this is const equal can't reassign me, and the error says assignment to constant variable. So it's impossible, right? Um, you have to have a value for const, and this value stays, right? So that's the main difference. So you should avoid var in general, I'll, and I'll give you some examples now on the scope because it's an older uh, variable type. You should be using let when you declare variables and then you know you will be updating the values reassigning values and const if it's not changing you just declare it assign assign a variable uh and that's it and you don't touch it right okay uh so let's clear out the console now let's talk about scope a little bit so i created here a folder with some examples for scope again uh don't if it's too complicated for you don't don't overthink about it just have some general understanding about scope right as we go it become as we go forward move forward it's, it's going to become clear but you have to know that it does exist so here is an example of global scope so any variable declared outside of a function or a block so using var let or const will be in the global scope so all of those three variables are declared at the very top of the file, uh, you know, ignoring the comment section. They're not inside of a function. They're just right there. So they all are in global scope. And you can access uh, those variables from the function or can access outside of the function because they are in the global scope. You can essentially access them from anywhere. So if I will go and uh, let me move into the folder scopes, so CD scopes. Now I'm inside scopes and here, let me do node dot one and tab to get the whole file name. So global scope JS, I run it and we can see that I'm printing I'm, I'm a global scope variable. I'm also global scope variable and me too. I can also say, um, instead of calling all those three from global scope at the bottom, I can say, uh, show global and just call the function. So the function was declared here, the values were inside of it, uh, called, and I can just call the function itself and run it one more time. Same thing happens. So I deleted all the console output that uh, was here. I just called the function right here and still I was able to access all of that text uh, by calling function 
that does the console log command. Okay, so this is um, global scope. Next one is function scope. So function scope is specific to var variables, again, um, that you should not use. So um, variables declared with var inside a function. So function scope is anything from the function start, so from here, till the function ends. So this is the whole thing here is a function scope. Okay. Uh, so if I will run the second file function scope you can see uh, first we're, uh, we're running accessible within this function so variable function scope is declared accessible within this function so it's inside the function and here it is running and showing accessible within the function so uh, and then the second one is within if uh, block still function scope so it's still within the function scope it is also accessible within the whole function so from here to here all of the variables that were declared uh, using var uh, are accessible and you can see it also prints out also accessible within the whole function not just the block okay uh, so this is var right and then if I will try, and you can see there's some code commented out. Uh, if I will try to call them over here directly, so I'm not calling the function anymore. Let me just comment it out. And we will get to more explanation about the functions. We're just kind of more talking about the scope right now. Uh, so I'm trying to call the function scoped var, so this one. And I'm trying to call still function scope this one uh, outside out of uh, the function right i'm not trying to print it out in the function anymore i commented out calling the function on the line 14 right right now i'm on line 17 and line 20 i'm trying to get access to those variables that were uh, declared within the function but there are in the function scope and I'm here trying to get them from the global scope. So if I'll try and run it now, you'll see I'm getting an error. Function scope is not defined. So it doesn't have access directly here from the global scope getting to the values inside the function, right? That is the function scope. Uh, so I'm gonna comment this out and let's call function again clear the console so type clear and again node function scope js run it now we're still getting them so they're being called from the function by uh, here calling this function now let's go to the last one block scope is a variable declared with let or const inside a block so the code is surrounded by the curly brackets so not from the function start to the function end but in a block so this is one block from uh, this curly brace to this curly brace right and this is another block also but they're different blocks uh, so how that can be demonstrated so you can see this is a function scoped var and this is a, a block scope var uh, this output is going to be only available within this block so let me run it so number three, block scope, if I execute it, uh, when I call the function, you can see that uh, it called this console log and it called this console log. So number line nine console log was called uh, and we got only accessible within the block output. And then line 12 console log was called and we got accessible within the function call. Well, all right, so if I'll comment out the console log on line nine, uh, and let's uh, call the function one more time. Now I have only one accessible within this function running right here. Let me try and access 
to the block scope variable outside of the block. So here is the block. A let is being declared within this block. And now on line 13, I'm trying to call it and show the text inside the uh, variable uh, when I'm calling the function, right? So let me try and do that. And I get an error. It says uh, block scope variable is not defined outside of the block. So I'm trying to get access inside the block, even though it's it was in the same function, but it's in a different block. And let variables are block scoped. Uh, it can't get access to it, right? From this uh, curly braces to this curly braces, this is the block. I'm trying to get inside the block, and I can't get the variable out. So that is the difference. If I had var here, the var again accessible through the whole function from the start to the end. If I'll rerun it was changing this let to a var, you can see now it's being printed out on line 13. Okay, so again, uh, this is a little bit more complex for starts where we get into variables. So your your goal here right now is just to understand that there are three variables, variable types in JavaScript. So var, let, and const, right? And that you should be using let when you declare variables and you want to reassign them later. And you should be using const um, if you assign something and you don't reassign it later at any point. And generally, you should be avoiding var and you should know there are different levels of scope. There's global, that is declared everywhere outside of a function. Uh, then there is a function scope. So from the start to the end of the function, that is var specific. And then there's a block scope that is within the blocks, within the function. So from, from opening and closing curly braces. And that is specific to uh, const and let variables. And that's the ones you should be using in general uh, throughout your coding, okay? So hopefully uh, this is clear enough to get some general understanding on scopes and uh, hopefully you got your introduction with variables. Like I want you to type this out, the variables itself. I don't really want you to go into typing out anything in the scopes, but just get, get familiar with the variables themselves. Okay, so this is it. Um, see you in the next video. This was Alex USA Days and bye.